Hey everyone, it's Babe Engineer, and on my channel I talk about iOS, software engineering, and tech. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about process info, and this is something that you might have seen in Swift somewhere. Chances are you might not have uh, because it's not very commonly used, and that's probably why you clicked on this video. And so if you don't know what it is, please stay tuned and learn something new. By the end of this video, you are going to learn about process info, and I'm going to give you a really good example use case. This is a, a very common thing that you would encounter if you are working at a tech company. I'm not going to ramble for any longer. We're just going to jump right in. So process info is information about the process. That may seem obvious, but what is a process? To understand process info, you want to learn a little bit about process. A process in an OS is also known as a program or an application. So in this case, we're going to be talking about your iOS application. The cool thing about this is that you can set uh, values to objects that are on the process info, such as the environment variable or the arguments variable. So process info has uh, some variables on this object called arguments and environment. Environment is a string to string dictionary and the arguments is an array of string. You can set values to these variables and access them from the process info. I'm going to stop explaining further here so that we can jump into an example and see exactly what I'm talking about. Let's say your company sells uh, plants on an app. Your product manager comes in and tells you like, we need to see if the current color of the buy now button is blue um, when the user's checking out. Product manager wants to know if changing the color to green or black will increase uh, people clicking on that button and buying our plants. This means that we're gonna be doing some A-B testing. The treatment groups, uh, the green and black button groups are going to be named treatment one and treatment two. 25% of users, let's say, are gonna get a green button. Some users are gonna get a black colored buy now button. 50% of the current users are gonna stay blue and that is our control group. And we wanna see if green or black will improve the click-through rate. And your job as an engineer is to make these UI changes. So just changing the color of the button, but you also wanna test to make sure that when it comes time to show the users these colors that the right users are going to get the right color buttons. And so we need to do some UI testing. And this is where uh, process info comes into play. Because UI tests and the app are different schemes in Xcode, we need a way to pass in this information from the UI test to the app. And this is done through process info. Here I created our plant app called PlantsSF, and for the purposes of this video, I didn't create an entire plant shopping app and only created the checkout page for buying plants to make it as easy as possible to understand this topic I'm talking about. Now I'm going to show you my UI test. As you can see here, I have set something with app.launch environment inside of the UI test and we're able to read this using process info within the app itself, the app's view controller. You can see here that I set the logic to change the background color of the button using what we got from process info. As I was making this video, I came into an issue where we cannot actually UI test the color of the button. We'd have to use a unit test to check the logic to see if our button is the correct color. So we can use snapshot testing to check if we're passing in the right color, or we can work around this by creating an object called experiments and updating its values based on what's being passed into the process info and then checking the logic there. But for the purposes of this video, I just wanted to show you how you would be able to use process info in your own development. The app uh, buy now button will always be blue unless we pass in the treatment name. And of course we can pass treatment name to the app and change its color to green or black, but when it comes to UI testing, UI testing is completely different. It has a different scheme from the app, right? In order for the UI test to tell which treatment 
it's being given so that it'll show and test the correct UI, we need to pass in something into the launch environment or launch arguments so that the app will be able to read this information and show us the correct UI. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know when you have encountered process info or if you've ever used it before and how you used it. I'd love to know. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.